There are three types of directives in Angular, and those are components, these are directives with a template, structural directives, these basically change the DOM layout by adding and removing DOM elements, examples of these types of directives are ng4 and ngif, attribute directives, these basically change the appearance and the behavior of an element, component or another directive, example of this type of directive is the ngstyle directive. Today we're gonna be making an attribute directive, on the screen you can see the final product, so every time we hover over an element, it's gonna scale that element 1.5 times and when we hover out, it will set the element back to normal. So if you're interested on how to make this, then let's begin. First, we're gonna make our directive with the Angular CLI. Then I'm gonna move the directive files into a folder called directives and inside my scale me folder. After this, we're gonna make sure that the imports of our directive are properly set. And next we can begin making our functionality. First, we need a reference to an element where we added the directive. So we're gonna get that using the element ref and we're gonna make sure we input this from the Angular core. Next, we want to add a listener on mouse over and on mouse out. And we're gonna do that with the host listener decorator that helps us declare a DOM event to listen for and provides a handler method to run when the event occurs. Next, for the scaling, we're gonna use the renderer2 and the setStyle method. SetStyle takes a few parameters, the element, the style, the value of the style, and some flags. In our case, we're gonna use the transition. 0.3 seconds is out, and then we're gonna use the transform scale 1.5 times. And for the mouse out, we're just gonna reverse that. Now, if you need to add more styles to an element, you're better off using the add class and remove class methods that the renderer 2 provides. Now let's just add our directive to a few components and see what we'll get. I'll add this to the h1 tags and to this button and when we run this we can see we get the desired effect. So that's how to make a simple attribute directive in Angular. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope this was interesting, post your comments, questions and suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next one.